it's Amber from Amber Eats Books and I'm here today to bring you my Spookathon TBR. I am so excited to be participating in Spookathon, like so excited, you don't even know. It's just like the right time of year, the right readathon, the right theme for the readathon. I don't know, it just seems perfect. I can't wait to get into it. They just posted the challenges this week. I will link all the information such as the dates and the host down below. I already linked that in my previous um, October announcements video, but I'll link it again in case you guys haven't had a chance to check it out. They just announced the challenges this week and I was thrilled. The first challenge is read a thriller. So for that, I picked Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I have not read any of these books. I did see Gone Girl, the movie. I enjoyed it a lot. I really did like it. I have a problem with seeing a movie and then reading the book or reading the book and then seeing the movie. I'm hoping that does not happen with this because there are rare exceptions. And I'm hoping that this is a rare exception because I heard this is just a fantastic, you know, psychological thriller. So please let it not happen. And challenge number two was read a book with red on the cover. And I've been saving this book to read in October. I specifically requested it from the library just in time for Spookathon. And that is Alice by Christina Henry. There's red on the cover. Those little blood, dots of blood, little blood dots. So I'm really excited to read this. I heard this is like a crazy take on Alice in Wonderland. So really, really excited. The third challenge was read a book with uh, a spooky word in the title. So I picked Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that author's last name. I will link down below all these books that I'm planning on reading. I don't know much about this book. All I know is it had the word devil in the title. It was on the Book Riot's list of um, best YA horror novels. I know it has sort of some mixed reviews, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of it, but I'm hoping that it will be at least an entertaining read. And it's YA, so it probably won't take me very long to get through with Spookathon, which is something that I tried to um, think about while choosing my TBR. I tried to pick books that I think I could, you know, fly through. So hopefully this one will be really fun to read. Then challenge number four was read a 2016 release. So I got The Fireman by Joe Hill. Now when I ordered this from my library, I didn't realize it was a seven day loan. So this has to go back actually before Spookathon. So I ended up ordering it through Amazon and it'll be here hopefully, you know, in a couple of days just in time for it. This is what I, from what I've read, a story that is very fast paced gets you hooked, even though it is quite large, I'm hoping that I'll be able to just plow through it. Um, and I know Joe Hill is Stephen King's son and Stephen King is my favorite author. I've never read anything by Joe Hill, so I thought Spookathon would be a perfect time to try him out. And then the last book that I'm planning on reading is read a book with a paranormal creature. Now she said, or they said in their videos, your favorite paranormal creature. Now, by no means is this my favorite paranormal paranormal creature, but I have been wanting to read it for a long time and it does include a paranormal creature, so I thought it would just be perfect. And that is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I've heard a lot of people say really good things about Holly Black's writing. Um, I have never experienced it, so again, Spookathon, thought it'd be a perfect time to try out this book and I think it is about vampires. So so excited to read all of these books. I will probably, I don't know if I'll do vlogging or if I'm going to just do a wrap up video. I guess we will see how I feel when that week comes along, but I am so excited to read all these. I'm so excited to be participating in Spookathon and this is actually gonna be my first, you know, readathon while I have my channel. So it's just gonna be a really, really, unique experience, one that I haven't had before. So looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what your TBRs look like if you are participating in Spookathon. If you are, link your videos down below and I will absolutely go and check them out if I haven't already. I hope you guys have a great week and happy reading.